Oh, oh, I haven't seen this. Look, <laughs> this is true gold. Oh, wow, oh. look. <laughs> A few weeks ago, we headed down to the south coast to collect five cars and a trailer that I'd bought for £10,000. The cars were in various states of repair, and as you'll have seen, we managed to coax the van and MG into life, while the other two cars refused to comply. The fifth car, a Range Rover L322, was at another location which I later had trailered down to the unit because that one was also in a very bad state of repair. In this video, we're revisiting the fleet, including what's been sold and what work is needed to get the remaining cars running. So let's start with sales. The trailer went to one of Taylor's friends for £5,500, while Taylor bought the transporter for himself for £4,000. I spent £650 getting all the cars recovered, meaning that after just two sales, Sales, I've got £1,150 to make to break even. So let's see if the remaining cars are in any fit state to make a little profit, starting with the rustiest car I think I've ever bought. So we're back at Tom Lenthal's place, and as you can see, the Daimler from the £10,000 barn find uh, episode is behind me. Tom has already put the wheels on that you would have seen in a previous episode when I gave Rory your car. That was all a big cover story. You're going to Pop it on we're gonna, the ramp. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> so if... We can have a look underneath and hopefully yeah. um, it won't just fold in half, like what you said. Life insurance? Shit, that reminds me, I actually need to fill out loads of paperwork for life insurance. Roy, remind me, genuinely, I've got life insurance policy to fill out, yeah. It's just so many pages, I can't be bothered. So Tom, question. Yeah? If I were to bring this to you, and if I were to say, oh, he used to belong to my granddad, oh, he just yep. took me to school in it, blah, 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 I love it so much. Yep. But I've let it get a little bit tatty here and there. Mm -hmm. How much if I were to leave it with you for a week for a full restoration? For a week? I would, first of all, I'd tell you that it's too far gone and it's going to be financially irresponsible. No, 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 but it belonged to my grandfather and yeah. he's now no longer with us and I just need it for his memory. And I'm going to say between 125 to 150 grand plus fat. Then I'll say, it's okay, I've got another granddad and he's still. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny enough, that's how those conversations go a lot of the time. The ramp posts are in place in the areas on the jacking points that's supposed to be jacked up on. However, that's not strictly true because on that corner that you're standing on, there isn't a jacking point. So I've put the leg in a little bit under, underneath the uh, spring right. hanger. Okay. Well, we should have goes. a habit of rotting out. Oh, fantastic, all right. Well, <laughs> you might not want to, that's probably the worst corner to stand on at this present right. moment in time. I'm, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard I'm, place, a P38 and a bloody Daimler. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... Right, everyone get back. <laughs> oh, did I hear some creaking? And... <laughs> that, it made some oh, oh shit, keep going. <laughs> This is our slowest ramp. Good. <laughs> it's it steady away. No rush. <laughs> oh, there we go. That looks quite crusty. Right. <gasps> right, just hold on no. a minute, hold on a minute. Wait, Get wait, out of the way, wait, you plonker. Go on a minute, he's keen, isn't he? <gasps> that's all right, that's safe. All right. <laughs> After you, Tom. After you. <laughs> So, do, yeah, do, it's perfect. Do, do, it's really do, good. Do, yeah, do, really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. <laughs> Let's safety check the areas where the ramp is. Why is that moving when he's knocking it up? <laughs> oh, this one don't look so good. Oh, I think that might have had a previous fiberglass repair. You know. Actually, I'm feeling more comfortable now. I'm not. Oh, look at the previous repairs there. And, oh, oh, I haven't seen this. Look, this is true gold. Oh, wow. Look. Someone has stuffed a bit of old paper in there oh, to try and fit. And then look, they've put the fiberglass or the. Oh, that is. So nice. they've stuffed the paper That's in. That's a bit and of filler, then, isn't it? And then filling it from the inside so it gives the filler something to stick to. I don't know why everyone has come underneath here now. Yeah. yeah. It's like fly. Five people. Now we 100% yeah. yeah. trust it. Oh, Tom, I think these shocks are a little bit buggy. Yeah, I think yeah. they're a bit oh, wrong. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's pretty bad, mate. But unlike the P38, the boot floor isn't as rough. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, look at oh, that. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Come round here, Rory. I've not seen one that <laughs> Quick, Rory, look! <laughs> <laughs> Rory, Rory, look! Rory, 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 Rory. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that is yeah, nice. And there, look. That's, that's where the accelerator pedal is. Oh, oh shit. All right. You're going to have to clean your floor, You are going to have to clean your floor, comrade, yeah. That's not good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're very delicate with the rust hammer. I know, hammer. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I don't even need to be aggressive with the rust hammer, unusually. <laughs> oh, look, there you go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, that's just... Yeah. I think it's fair to say that it's slightly seen better days on the corrosion front. So is it going to be more than 120 grand to put right? <laughs> no, that'd be right. I could do it for that. I'll pay you in instalments. <laughs> Uh, over 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I was, well, was going to say, was it, is it going to be like one of those student loans where you need to earn over a million pounds a year before you pay them back? Yeah. So what are you saying, Tom? Yeah, I think she's toast, mate. Oh. She's, she's structurally toast. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, bits are. Yeah, all right. But that doesn't stop us getting it running and driving, does it? No. As you know, everything's worth more once it's running and driving, isn't it? Oh, exactly, yeah. yeah. Double the price. Yeah, quite. And I'll chuck an MOT on it as well. I know a man. All right. There's a challenge, isn't it? Running and driving around the NEC with a trailer on the back, towing... Big Tom. <laughs> towing Big Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind me pushing it a little bit. <laughs> all right, Rory, because right. I'm going to try and sell this, we're going to have to cut all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, Tom, what do you think of the car? I think that was a very honest appraisal. Fantastic. And, you know, it's good condition. Good condition. You know, uh, a well, a very worthy oh. restoration project. Yeah, not that it needs a lot, does it, Tom? No, 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 just a little no, bit. bit of a, just a bit. Perfect for your, uh, you know, average enthusiast. Yeah, father yeah. and son project on the yeah. driveway. Perfect. Nice one, cheers, yeah. yeah. I'll give you some beer money for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it is a few days later, and there is one more thing that Tom uh, says that he has achieved with this motor vehicle, which we're going to find out in a minute. You can see that we've got our uh, fuel tank already primed and ready. But before we try and start this poor old Daimler up for the first time, uh, you set yourself a bit of a challenge. Yes, so you want to sell this car, right? Desperately. I am going to stick it on my Instagram story now. Is there a point? Because you don't have a follow-up. Shut up. up so. And I'm going to see if I can sell this car before the time that we finish filming today. Okay. All, All right. right. Sounds good. To incentivize you, if you do sell the car, I will give you 20%. All right. Of whatever it is. 20%. How about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're <laughs> There you go. Wait, you haven't That's given the price that you want for it. You could sell it for a pound. Exactly. Oh, it doesn't matter. Pound, no. One pound, 20p, 20. You said 250, 250, 350. Oh, oh. oh. That chat got excited. No, he's bidding. That was a bid of 2,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Dear. Well, Tom, what do you reckon this is worth? In, like, as it is? 1,500 quid to three grand depending on how badly you need it. So if we get five grand for it, we're doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, why didn't you put it up on your stories now? Okay. For what, two grand? Yeah. If we get 1,500 quid, then you get 300 quid. All you right. can tell whoever buys it, the only thing I would like off of it is that if they decide to break it, I, I like the front axle because it's got a really, it's got quite a rare front axle on it. So it's, give, on. it's for sale. I tell you I'd what, give 500 I, quid I for will the front sell axle. you, I will sell you the front axle for two grand. <gasps> And, and oh, you know, as, I was getting my hand out of as, as part of as an incentive, I'll give you the rest of the car. No, you won't. Uh, yeah. No, you won't. No. He will. I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll genuinely give 500 quid for the front axle. All right, well, get it on the story all quick. Right, all right, all right. It's a video, Alex. <laughs> oh, would anyone like to buy my Daimler? What is it? Something. 250. 250. For a price that Taylor is going to put up on his Instagram, even though he doesn't have a following, there's Shut not up. much point. Shut up. Uh, if you want to buy it, you've got to be very, very quick because, because Taylor's got 20 minutes to sell yes. this thing. So this is going to be part of a video. And the plan is to try and sell this car before the end of this video. So if you want to buy the Daimler, message me in my Instagram inbox and buy it. Right, shall we try and get this thing started? Yeah, come on in. Right, jump on the, um, jump in the car race. 
Before we hear that Daimler V8 running, a reminder from me that if you want to buy yourself a used car, van, or motorbike, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first to ensure it's not being crashed, stolen, or clocked. If we take Taylor's brand new Alpina B3 as an example, you can see that we've got green ticks for odometer, finance, and damage that tells us that this car does not have a shady past. And now for an example of a car vertical report that would make me walk away from a potential purchase, check out this Land Rover Discovery 4 we've got a uh, green tick for finance legal status but an amber warning for odometer and damage if we scroll down a little bit we can see pictures of the discovery it looks very clean this is probably when it was last sold but we want to check out that odometer and if we see right here in 2019 to 2020 it lost over 60,000 miles in one year. So we know that this car has been clocked. So if you see this anywhere that you buy cars, you know to walk away because it's been clocked. So remember, if you wanna buy yourself a car, van or motorbike, make sure that you run a car vertical report on it first. What's more to sweeten the deal, you will get 10% off using the code AUTOALEX. Right then, let's get this Daimler started. Fingers crossed. Oh, Ooh, Okay, right, hold on a second, hold on a second. What is that long screwdriver for, Tom? What are you planning on doing with that? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, he's, oh, he's fingering her. I'm fingering the old girl. Right, go on, Reese. Come on. What's happening? Right, pull the choke on, Reese. All right. It's seized. It's just push the throttle up and down a sec then, just so I know what I'm looking at. Oh, there we go, that works. Oh, right, yeah. So that's a choky choky there. Try that, Reese. All right. Oh. It spins over quite nicely, actually, doesn't it? It's quite fast. Here we go. Oh Come my on. God, the brake cleaner. Come so on. the last time I used brake cleaner on a petrol car on an inlet, I blew the inlet manifold <laughs> to pieces. And, there was a, and all yeah, the inlet that was pipes flew off. <laughs> that's got a beautiful aluminium. Yeah, oh, the you, one you I, can, I did was you definitely ain't break plastic. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the vacuum lines went right, everywhere. Right, go on, Reese. Oh. oh. Go on. Come on, girl. Fantastic. Yeah. Woo. I can't believe this. That sounds so smooth. That wow. sounds really good. Wow. That sounds good. I wouldn't say smooth. It's smooth. <laughs> I think the choke might need a little bit of work to make it run for bro. It runs. Oh. You anyone to think I've done this before? Well done, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well done, Tom. Done Did I have oil pressure, Reese? Good. Oh, good. It didn't make it, any knocks, rattles, or bangs. It sounds quite nice, actually. It does. They're, they're quite throaty. These are lovely engines. They really yeah. are. One yeah. of these with a manual box on the back is actually a really cool Taylor, thing. this is a bit of you. No. Oh, OK. <laughs> what have we learned, then? We've learned that it's a little bit rusty, but it yep. runs nicely. Yep. And we can't ever sell it on because it's rotten. Well, we can sell it on. You yeah, just... but not as a drivable car. This is just got 12 months MOT. You're not going to get running driving. No, it's without without the sort of investment that goes out of the um, it does indeed out goes of out, the, of the shit out of the box rail out of the Tom your... Lenthal pot. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no. It's up to Taylor now to sell this yeah. old girl because I want to start making a bit of profit. I have a massive amount of faith in his selling ability. Yes, just not necessarily in this car. No, <laughs> I, I reckon I'll sell it. All right, all right. Cool. Well, you've probably got to tell you how much for, but I'll sell it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've already got a bit of five hundred quid, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, Happy days. All right. So that's this one. Pretty much done. All right. Yeah. Out the game now. Let's yeah, yeah. We can move on. this one along. Oh, yeah. Okay. We just get rid of this one. Cool. Okay. Well, Taylor can get rid of this one, yeah. please. We do have one more car that we need to do a little bit of work on. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit pumpy pumpy. I think we've got yeah. more than one. And that's one the MG car. out there. So let's have a look at that. So we're going to pump up the hydroelastic suspension. Yeah. So yeah, because it's hydraulic in yeah. this. It's not, um, Which means it doesn't have coil It's not springs. normal. No, same, normal. same, same. Yeah. I don't understand why Rover didn't retire it with the Mini and the Maxi and all Just because music. they probably didn't have the money to go down Euros and get some coils. <laughs> the suspension on this, obviously, it's not height adjustable like a Citroen or something like that. 
No. What suspension was this fitted to? It was a, what cars? Sorry, so it was a um, mini. So, well, it, was a, it was a mini. Uh, Maxi's had it, I think, from memory. Uh, Austin Allegro's. It was just so everything yeah. that was shit. Yeah, Metro had it. Yeah. <laughs> everything yeah. Everything, yeah. everything yeah. shit and British had yeah, that yeah, suspension yeah, yeah. on it. Cars like this only morons own, right? Yeah. Which reminds me, I should probably give Fernie a call because <laughs> he wanted to buy it. <laughs> yeah. So I give him a shout. Give him a shout. Hey, right, Michael Fernie. Do you want to my own brew? Hey. If he doesn't pick up, then. It... Oh, disappointed. Oh. Right, what does a pump look like for this? Where's your pump? It's, it's like on like the floor, a isn't it? Rectangular blocky and thing. And it's got a handle on it and you pump oh, it. It's oh, wow. That one. The one I used to have was bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there was the proper British Leyland one, and then this, the, this is the aftermarket -y, sort of cheaper version. That is so shit. No offense. That looks like your old phone. It does. Yeah, right, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm on the phone. Hold on. <laughs> yes. Question. Yeah. You know all your old oil here? Oh, God. Yeah, <gasps> do you that's want some? messy. Part do you want of the some? Well, no. Tom, do you, want, do you want some? Do you want some? Do you want some? We got a lot of oil Because we you. got we got quite a few Oh, you've got no way of getting rid of your oil, have you? No, no. We do now. Cheers, Tom. Yeah, okay. I like the way that you, we've opened the front where you can put some of your goods and then there's just the road. Yes. The well, sure, is there something missing? Is there oh, a train? Are these the two me? valves that hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah so there's, it, one, there's there, one there and there's one there. And it's the same valve that you used to, when you pump up your tyres. It's the Schrader valve. Schrader. Schrader. Can you pump it up with air? <laughs> you could if you wanted well, to, but it probably yes. wouldn't go very well. Are you going to clean it for Mike? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a barn find. It's, a barn find. it's worth more money. We, we devalue it by cleaning it. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. To be fair, the paint actually looks in like. It looks really it does good. Look all right, yeah. When you're doing this, do you need to get a spirit level? <coughs> no, you measure it normally. You'd well, measure it you from do... the uh, centre of the wheel to the wheel arch. Yeah, but that takes time. No, you what you, you do is you do exactly what they did in the factory and you just sort of look at it and go, yeah, that do. Yeah. Well, look, Reese, you've got you've got two fingers on this side. Oh. And you've got, yeah, two fingers. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> That's why they call him Two Finger Reese. <laughs> exactly. I've got someone interested in the Daimler. Have you? Do you know who it is? No. Robin Oliver Bartlett, the guy Viking detailing. He's Why? just asked me to ring him. <gasps> okay, let's phone him up. I'll come off it, really. Why does he want it? Well, right, right. We got, he's a good friend. But How much did you list laugh. it for? Two grand. What, what would you take for it? Two grand. Robin. Hello, Robin's ropey restaurant is all broken now. Robin. <laughs> you're live on television. Please do not say <laughs> Okay, I won't say shit all, mate. Uh, you're live on television. Talk to me about this, Daniel. Do you want to buy it? Well, of course I want to buy it. You've seen the state of it and me. It, yes. is, it is a bit of you, Robin. You know, that'll polish up lovely. We could be a great show car. We got it running today. It's pretty much ready for an MOT. How much of the chassis is actually there? The chassis actually is there, isn't Ooh. it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the chassis is there. The chassis yeah. is there. The seals are not there. The, the, the seals are not really there anymore. Right. Taylor, I mean, pardon my French, but how shit is it? It's, it's, it's averagely shit, yes. It's averagely but it, shit. It, it's quite shit, but it's there. Can you send me some pictures? Because no, we, we've no, no, we, we've, got, we've okay. got to come to a deal right now while you're on the phone because we're, we, this is on the Tell television. Tell Robin there's a confirmed right. sale for and the front axle if he, if he thinks yeah. it's too If it's too f***ed, we've already got a confirmed sale on the front axle for 500 quid. My offer would be 1,169 pounds. What? <laughs> Why one <laughs> you can, I, I think he's watching something on the telly at the moment. Yeah. So. No, that just happens to be the exact amount that I've got remaining in my overdraft. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to borrow a bit of money because I've got Tommy's. He's just mouthing, no, don't do it. It's worth a lot more than that. <laughs> really? I, just, no, really? Mm. Can, can we do any better than that, Robin? <laughs> How about this? Hmm. I'll give you... Mm -hmm. £750. Pounds. How has it gone but, down? <laughs> but you have access to my detailing services for life. Uh, for life? For life. For life. Robin, you do realise that we will take the piss out of Hold on. Hold on. You, you haven't got some sort of, um, you know, terminal disease that you're not telling us about. <laughs> 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 okay, Robin, I'll doubt you around. 750 and I. I, 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 I
phone you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so MG's pumped up. Let's just say Mike Fernie's gonna buy it. You're welcome. Um, so Mercedes next? Yes. The Mercedes S600 hasn't run since I've owned it. The instrument cluster doesn't work. And the fear here is that rodents have done a number on the electrics and effectively bricked the car. And with literal miles of wiring in this thing, the Merc's fate hangs in the balance. We recently took the S600 with us to the Classic Motor Show at the NEC in Birmingham, where Josh and Lewis tried to get the car to run in front of a live audience. However, despite their best efforts, it refused to play ball. A few days later though, and with a new fuel pump installed, the big Merc did actually spring into life, which we'd love to show you had the footage not been corrupted. And now we've temporarily managed to lose the only key we have, which is helpful. As for the Range Rover L322 you're probably wondering about, that's now out of the equation because we wanted to give it back to the family from whom we bought it. Tom is in the process of organising a parts list to get the car up and running again. The Alex, son of John who sadly passed away recently and whose cars these all were, will tackle in his own time. So now we're all up to speed, let's remind ourselves of the trading up numbers. £10,650 was spent on the cars and recovering them, £9,500 was made on the trailer and transporter, and a further £600 and £750 is going back into the trading up fund for the MG and Daimler respectively. So far then, I've made a £200 profit, meaning I'm really counting on the Mercedes to sell for around £6,000 to make any meaningful profit. Either way, you'll see how much the S600 sells for in a video soon.